Hello friends, welcome to my channel World of Physical Chemistry. In this video we will learn a simple and best trick to derive the unit of rate constant. K is equal to mole per liter raised to 1 minus N into per time where N is the order of reaction. If N is equal to 0 that is order of reaction is 0 then from expression 1 K is equal to mole per liter raised to 1 minus 0 per time. 1 minus 0 that is 1 therefore unit of K is for zero order reaction mole per liter per time. If N is equal to 1 then K is equal to from expression 1 mole per liter 1 minus now N is 1 that is 1 minus 1 per time that is 1 minus 1 0 0 is anything raised to 0 is 1 therefore unit of rate constant is per time for first order reaction if N is equal to 2 K is equal to mole per liter 1 minus 2 per time. That is unit of K for second order reaction is liter per mole per time. And if N is equal to 3, then the unit of K becomes mole per liter raised to 1 minus 3 per time. Finally, the unit of K is for third order reaction, liter square mole raised to minus 2 per time. By knowing the unit of rate constant of a chemical reaction, we are able to predict the order of reaction. Identify the reaction order. We have to identify the order of reaction from each of the following rate constant. Two rate constants are given with proper unit. In first case, K is equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 liter per mole per second. Now we have to identify the order of reaction. If we know the unit of rate constant for different order of reaction, we can easily predict. Now liter per mole per second. This is the unit of rate constant for order of second order reaction. Therefore, in first case, it is the second order reaction. In second one, K is given 3 into 10 to minus 4 per second. And the unit of rate constant for first order reaction is per time. Here it is per second. That is time expressed in second. Therefore, we can say that in second case, the order of reaction is first order reaction. 